Hello YouTube! After about a year of inactivity, I am... I have returned. Yeah. Gee, I don't know what the heck's been going on. I guess I've, I've just been busy with other stuff and... And I guess this wasn't really my main focus. I know I say that a lot, but this time I guess it was like... It was true, I guess. But, but here I am, I'm back, and... And I can do this again. I promise. So, so as always, this is Every Tech Time, and and today we're going to do a video tutorial on how to install Windows 3.11 in VirtualBox. So as always, I'll have the links in the description to um to Windows 3.11 as well as MSOS 5.0. Um, you can you can download those so you can so you can try this out yourself. So. So anyway, let's get started. So as always, we're going to create a new virtual machine and call it Windows 3.11. Um, okay, that's good. Windows 3.1. Next. 32 megabytes is fine. Next. And now we're going to create a virtual hard disk. A virtual box disk image, dynamically allocated. One gigabyte. So now we're going to go up to settings and then in storage we're going to click on this empty floppy disk drive and then we're going to select choose a disk file and then in my MSOS 5.0 folder I'm going to select disk 1 because that's how you start out by because the way you start out is by installing is by installing MS DOS in this type of operating system. So now we're going to start our virtual machine. I'll just ignore that. Okay, so this is um all right, so we have now completed the installation of MS DOS. And here we are in the DOS shell. So, um, we're gonna. So to install Windows 3.11, we're gonna choose a disk file, and we're. And I'm gonna go to my Windows 3.11 folder, and open disk one. So now I'm. I'm gonna navigate to the A drive. Press tab until you reach this one, until you reach this tab. Now I'm going to select setup.exe to enter the Windows 3.11 setup. So again we'll press enter and express setup is recommended but you can also um, do custom setup um, uh, um, with your pleasure. So I'm going to select disk 2 disk 3 and here you in here I'm going to enter my name and company the company is optional but the name you have to you have to enter So we'll press continue. Yes, um, this this information is correct. So now I'm going to insert disk four. Now disk five. And I have no printer attached to this computer, so we'll just select install. Yes, um, you can select the MS-DOS editor. Okay. Here you can run the tutorial, but but for now I'm just going to skip the tutorial, um, just because. Alright, so we have completed our 
our installation for Windows 3.11 so we can remove all floppy disks from the drive and select reboot so we're back in the in the um in the MS DOS shell so we'll press tab and in directory tree we're going to scroll we're going to select windows press tab and navigate to um win.com which is where the um which is where the operating system is it's far ways down so just hang on all right win.com is the one you you want to you want to select because that's where the operating system is and here we are this is Windows 3.11 in VirtualBox right here on Windows 3.11 um, and our memory is is 90 kilobytes free and we have 86 percent free system resources ooh and 386 enhanced mode super this is our file manager where, where, where you keep all your files, store all of your files. And the control panel where you can customize your settings. And yeah, you, 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 you got everything here. So that's how you install Windows 3.11 in VirtualBox use, um, from MS-DOS 5.0. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's my tutorial on how to do that, install, install Windows 3.11. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, this is Every Tech Time, and I'll see you in the, in the next video. And, and don't forget to, um, to subscribe for more tech content for me in the future. Thanks for watching.